Hello Libra, this is Moon Seeker of Life Guardian. So this is your reading for July. So what we're going to focus on during this Mercury, Mercury retrograde is past, present and future. We're going to see what we've learned, where we are and where we're going. So let's get started. So where have we been? What have we learned? We have the green man, the forces of nature favor you. So we've learned that, you know, our environment, the divine, the universe, when we're in the ebb and flow of the universe, we can bring about the things we think about. So what else do we have with this? We have appreciation, we have sadness, and we have cleanse and release. So what we've learned here is to appreciate the good and the bad. We appreciate the lessons we've learned when it comes to heartbreak and sadness. We take those lessons and we move on. We move on and we cleanse and release and purge the things that no longer serve us. This could be beliefs and foundations and this could be people, places and things. So but we appreciate all the things. We're starting to appreciate nature more. We're appreciating the universe more. We might go out in nature and that's where we find the appreciation within ourselves. When it comes to sadness, we have learned how to navigate it. We have learned how to, to know that it's okay to be sad. It's okay to mourn the loss of a connection. It's okay to mourn. And it's also okay to move on and release it if it's hurting us, if it's not working for us, if it's not for our highest good. So we've learned how to be in tune with ourselves and our emotions so we can know what we need to let go of for our highest good. What else do we have? We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the high priestess. So we've learned to listen to our inner voice. We have learned to know that we are an intuitive divine feminine or um, divine masculine. If you are a masculine watching this, the divine masculine has, has seen that their divine feminine is this intuitive um, person who is now following and listening to their inner voice. We've also learned about what we want when it comes to our relationships, friendships, dating, how we view happiness and how we're no longer attaching happiness onto another person. We have it within ourselves. And that way we have, we have learned what we want for the future. We want to have this stable, committed home, family, where you can build together with someone, something that's gonna leave a legacy, something that's gonna last for generations to come. You want to build new foundation and building blocks for your next generation. So that's what we have learned. So where are we now? We have the hand of fate. So this talks about forces beyond your control intervene. So in the past we had uh, nature is in your favor. Now we have forces beyond our control. So what I'm feeling here is that in the past we were divinely guided and helped. Currently we're still being um, guided and helped by the divine and the universe. So what else do we have? We have summer. We have naked. And we have childhood trauma. So what I'm getting from this is that, and if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summer now. Um, and if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you'll be spring soon. And this could be an indication of time when summer comes around in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, this is something you're going to be working on. But right now, we're learning how to unrobe body, mind, and soul. We're learning how to be fully naked and vulnerable so we can start dealing and healing childhood trauma. Whatever kept us guarded and had our walls up, they're starting to crumble as, as we work more and more on healing childhood trauma. 
what else do we have we have three of wands we have four of wands and we have nine of wands so what i'm getting here is that there is some kind of waiting for a return of your investment a little bit waiting to reap the rewards this could also be some kind of waiting for a proposal to come in um, from your divine counterpart because of the four of wands here which is the twin flame card the soul connection card this is about stability and union this card and the ten of um, pentacles is for me um and look we have lots of hands here this could be a significance to someone um this could to me they are like they go hand in hand you have this stability you start working on your connection to build to this so in this moment in this present moment that is what we're kind of working towards for the future we're waiting to see what's gonna happen this might occur a court i can't even talk right now this might occur in the summertime if you're in the northern hemisphere and this might have happened in the summertime if you're in the southern hemisphere but we are stripping down so that we can have this have a soul connection where we are open completely and are willing and able to stand naked and vulner vulnerable in front of a partner and then we have childhood trauma here with nine of swords which is totally understandable you would be worried and have anxiety about facing your childhood traumas that you perhaps have been um pushing down and not have dealing with it might it brings you worry it brings you guilt it brings you shame it brings you whatever um anxious and nightmare things you might feel about this but the more we work to heal our childhood traumas the less we'll have the nine of swords energy the nightmares will go away the anxiety will go away the worry will go away so keep working on resolving your childhood traumas so that you can go towards your four of wands and hence having to wait because we're waiting to fully um, heal our childhood traumas so let's see where this is taking us in the future we have jealousy leads to downfall okay so something might happen where um, um, there is jealousy causing trouble we have contact we have strength and we have forgiveness so this is about your divine counterpart there may be a third party situation but it doesn't have to be this could be a person place or thing and this being a third party situation involving another person this is only for a few people so it, don't take the message if it doesn't resonate for you this is just for a special few but they are going to make contact with you and break through the silence break through the veil they are going to find the strength to come towards you and ask for forgiveness this will perhaps um, cause jealousy with their karmic partner which may lead to a whole heap of problems but because that message is not for everyone i'll get three more cards um <clears throat> for people not in a third party situation we have confidence well, we have rising. Let's see the rest of them go. We have waiting and we have divine healing. So, and I feel like it's still connected here though. But, so, this for the rest of you is about rising. And knowing that you have the confidence to um, fight off any and all little green monsters of jealousy and envy this is about people perhaps being um, 
envious of you because you are rising as the divine feminine or rising as a divine masculine and you're starting to ooze that confidence and um glow that comes with that with that that comes with being your authentic self this is because you have had that time um to get divine healing you have now healed most of your childhood childhood traumas and other things that you were perhaps working on and uh, doing some shadow work but this is also about waiting waiting for the right time um to make contacts with your divine counterpart waiting till perhaps the roads are clear the coast is clear that but waiting for them to release the karmic partner or karmic situation learn the karmic lessons and be in a time of um of the hermit mode where they are alone and they're going within and they are nourishing and um, growing themselves as their divine self this is about also having the strength to forgive not only yourself but people around you that may have caused you pain through some kind of um, jealousy so what i see here coming up in the future for you, possible future, is that you're going to keep rising. And we've seen that that you've been rising and, and going within yourself and becoming your best divine self. And this is both for divine masculine and divine feminine. So what else do we have? We have two of cups. So this, all of this rising, 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 letting this kind of jealous behavior or conflicts that's trying to come your way kind of just roll off you like water you're like not engaging you're not going into that you are thinking about unity and your two of cups and that's what also coming for you is the two of cups because now we have the king of cups here which is you know being emotionally mature and if you're a divine masculine watching this then you're this person getting in control of your emotions. You're more mature with your emotions. You're more open, compassionate, balanced. You're more in control. And if you're divine feminine watching this, then it's your divine masculine who's who's stepping into that power. And then we have the page of swords. And this is about curiosity and exploration and um, having new ideas, new ideas about how this partnership, how this soul connection is going to come together together and flourish flourish in the future i am getting a bit tired so i'm going to end it here i can't even say my words anymore but libra thank you for watching please comment like subscribe and share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time thank you bye